going to be making a fixture which is here and a wheel which is here this is how I did it Now that I have all the counter bores complete, the plan is to um, take it out of this setup, flip it over. Uh, I should just be able to put a pin in the center to orient it about the center, and then face the other side so that it's parallel. And then from there, I'm going to actually clamp it to the rotary table with these counter board holes and drill and tap and get it set up to cut the gears. So the first step in doing the main wheel here is I have a piece of brass sheet stock. It's four inches wide. The wheel itself is actually about three and a quarter inches in diameter. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use one of these um, stock edges here uh, and begin doing some layout and try to keep everything in about a three and three eighths square area. I'm gonna lay out some hole locations that will line up with my fixture um, and then saw it out and get it on the rotary table and actually cut the outside diameter on the rotary table and then get it set up for cutting the teeth. I'm basically right on size where I need to be now with the diameter. Um, it measures about uh, 3 inches to 60 or so. So I'm going to go around. I need it to be 258. So I'm going to go around one more time. And just do a little light finish pass. And it should be ready to set up and do the actually cut the teeth. Rotary's all set up here now on 90 degrees. I have to use a 90 degree attachment so it takes a little bit of disassembly and reassembly. Um, so now I have the um, pin in the center here and I'm going to pick that up to establish the Y center line and then start cutting the wheel teeth. So this is the Sureline rotary table controller. Pretty simple to use. Um, the first thing you gotta do is select 
what mode and I'm gonna do division mode so I'll just press enter it asks me how many divisions I type in 80 because this is 80 teeth press enter and then all I have to do is press the next button and it'll rotate the table to the next location so let's start cutting So it's kind of hard to see here the, the first three that I cut, um, but it's obviously not deep enough, so that's okay. Um, you kind of just take some, some test cuts. The nice thing about this rotary is now I can go to the previous, and it actually calculates for the backlash too, or compensates rather. So I'll go back to these three and recut them. A little bit deeper until I get the right width on the top of the tooth.